Welcome back to Movie Recaps. Today I will show you a comedy, fantasy film from 2014, titled Miss Granny. Spoilers ahead. Watch out and take care. Oh Mal Soon is an elderly widower that lives with her family, her son Yun Chul, who is a university professor, her daughter-in-law A Jia, her grandson Ji Ha who is in a band, and her granddaughter Hana. Mal Soon lived a very difficult life, having lost her husband when young and raised her son alone while working to support them. Nowadays though, she's stubborn, shameless, and very controlling, always telling other people how to do things and getting into arguments. This is causing a lot of stress to Aja, who is depressed and medicated. At least Mal Soon isn't home 24-7, she also works with her childhood friend Mr. Park at a cafe. This cafe is often visited by a lady called Okja, who Mal Soon considers a vixen. The two of them are always arguing, and today isn't the exception, Okja insults Mal Soon and tries to flirt with Mr. Park, so Mal Soon ends up jumping on her to show her a lesson in a more violent way. Mr. Park tries to pull them apart and ends up injured in the process, so when he goes home later, his daughter Nayoung scolds him for always defending Mal Soon when he always ends up hurt by her. Mal Soon happens to show up at that moment with her purple umbrella and scolds her in return for speaking like that to her own father, refusing to apologize for the injury when Nayoung asks her to. Before leaving, both Mal Soon leaves a bag of peaches for Mr. Park, and he follows her out to offer her a ride on his bike. But Nayoung doesn't understand how Mal Soon can be such a close friend of her father's and not know he's allergic to peaches. Meanwhile, at a local TV studio, music producer Song Wu is frustrated with today's auditions. All the new bands look and sound the same, putting too much attention on their looks instead of singing with their souls. His assistant Suyan points out young people can't sing with their souls and says that maybe they should hire an elderly ghost singer and let the kids lip sync. The next day, while Mal Soon scolds Ai Jia for doing the cooking wrong, Ji Ha tries to sneak out to go to an audition, but both women catch him in the act. Ai Jia tells him off, reminding him his future is in studying, but Mal Soon interrupts her and gives Ji Ha some money so he can go out and pursue his dreams. After he's gone, Ai Jia tries to tell Mal Soon that she should let her be in charge of the education of her own children. But Mal Soon doesn't listen, she doesn't approve of Aja being stressed when her husband has a good salary and she stays home doing chores. She thinks she has it easy compared to what she had to go through when raising Yun Chul alone. In the meantime, Ji Ha's audition doesn't go well, the musicians are good, but the lead singer doesn't sing well because she spent all night clubbing and never quit smoking. When Ji Ha calls her out for not taking this seriously, she simply quits. In the evening, when Mal Soon returns home after going out for groceries, she finds Aja collapsed on the floor. She's immediately taken to the hospital, and after she goes through surgery, her doctor tells Yun Chul that his wife needs to rest in a stress-free environment. When they return home, he discusses the idea of sending Mal Soon to a retirement home with his kids, Hana agrees, but Ji Ha doesn't. Mal Soon hears this discussion and while she is upset, she accepts her fate for the sake of Ai Jia. Yun Chul promises her that he'll bring her back to the house when Ai Jia starts feeling better. Mal Soon may have accepted this arrangement, but her mood still suffers from it. She isn't her usual spunky self at the cafe, and it only gets worse when she's approached by an angry woman whose family lost their restaurant after they helped Mal Soon many years ago, when she was still a single mother trying to survive. They gave her shelter and food and she repaid them by stealing the recipe of their secret soup and opening her own place in the same town. Mal Soon tries to leave the cafe, not wanting to confront this issue, but the woman has been looking for her for years and won't let her go so easily. She jumps on Mal Soon to attack her, but Mal Soon doesn't defend herself, so it's up to Mr. Park to pull them apart. While he keeps hold of the woman, Mal Soon explains she did what she had to do to give her son a good life. In the evening, Mal Soon is waiting for the bus while crying when she receives a call from Ji Ha, who asks her if she could take him and his band out for dinner. Mal Soon accepts and they agree to meet at the station, but before going there, she can't help stopping by a photo studio that has a portrait of Audrey Hepburn on its window. She decides to go inside and get a nice picture taken for her future altar, and the photographer promises he'll make her look 50 years younger. After she's done, she catches the bus, where three young men hit on her. Mal Soon is very confused by this until she sees her reflection and discovers what has happened, she's now back into her 20-year-old body. After stopping by the pharmacy to ask for tranquilizer pills, Mal Soon remembers she's supposed to meet her grandson, but when she arrives at the station, she doesn't dare approach them with this new face. Ignoring Ji Ha's calls to her cell phone, Mal Soon goes back to the photo studio only not to find it there. There's a restaurant on that building instead, and the owner tells her she's had it for 10 years and she's never heard of a photo studio in the area. Mal Soon doesn't return home that night, which worries her family and Mr. Park, but the police tell them it's too soon to fill a report yet. She actually spends the night in a community center, and as she wakes up, she realizes her body doesn't have usual morning aches. Seeing all the other old ladies makes her determined not to be like that again and she decides to enjoy this newfound youth, so she goes out shopping for new clothes and gets a haircut like Audrey Hepburn, paying it all with money she gets from the ATM with her debit card. Afterward, she goes to Mr. Park's house and asks to rent the room they're offering, telling them her name is Oduri, a mispronunciation of Audrey. After settling in, she goes to her family's house and leaves a note at the door to let them know she's okay. 
The next day she hangs out at Mr. Park's cafe, where she looks out of place because it filled with elderly people. Mal soon decides to sing next at the karaoke after Okja's mediocre performance, proving to be an excellent singer who puts every emotion in her voice. Her act is seen by Ji Ha, who has come by to see if Mr. Park had heard from his grandma, and by Sung Woo and Seon, who were in the area looking for new talent and enter the cafe when they hear Mal Soon's voice. After the song is over, she receives a standing ovation from the crowd, but Mal Soon runs away because she is afraid Ji Ha may recognize her. Both Ji Ha and Sung Woo go after her, wanting to hire her, but she's nowhere in sight. Later in the evening, when Ji Ha visits Mr. Park at his house, he finds Mal Soon there as well and takes the chance to invite her to go out for a drink. Ji Ha offers Mal Soon for her to be the new vocalist of his band, and because it hurts her to see her grandson so sad, Mal Soon accepts. The next day, Mal Soon meets Ji Ha's band and is terrified by their metal music and looks. She thinks it's all noise and what they should be singing is more a cheerful tune. The guys don't like the idea very much, but having Mal Soon wink and blow a kiss at them is enough for them to change their minds. They first play in the park, and people love them so much that their tip jar is full of money. Some days later, they get a gig at a bar, where the musicians stop wearing metal-style clothes and match Mal Soon in cuteness, and they are a success there as well. One night, Sung Woo finds Mal Soon arguing with a mother on the train, so when she gets off, he follows her through the streets, but he isn't sneaky enough and is quickly noticed by Mal Soon, who thinks he is a stalker. After telling him off, she tries to walk away, but Sung Woo grabs her by the shoulder to stop her because he still wants to talk. This accidentally lowers her blouse, so Mal Soon starts crying and yelling and goes to the police to accuse Sung Woo of trying to touch her inappropriately. The cops take Sung Woo away and as soon as they are far enough, Mal Soon drops the act and looks pleased with herself. The following day, Mal Soon with her purple umbrella goes to her family's house because Ji Ha has invited her over for lunch. A Ja is looking healthier and welcomes her with perfect manners, but Hana is very rude to her, which Ji Ha blames on their grandmother. Hearing this hurts Mal Soon a bit. While waiting for lunch to be ready, she asks for a tour of the house and convinces Ji Ha to show her his grandmother's bedroom. At first, she only pretends to be curious, but when A Ja calls Ji Ha to help her with the dishes, Mal Soon takes the chance to search her dresser for her stamp, which she needs because her family has blocked her debit card. In the meantime, Yun Chol and Mr. Park are at the police station watching some recordings from security cameras that show someone using Mal Soon's debit card to get money from the ATM, but the face can't be seen because of a purple umbrella. This makes them believe Mal Soon has been kidnapped, and while Mr. Park doesn't say anything, he does recognize the umbrella. Back in the house, the family is having lunch when Yun Chol returns home, and out of habit, Mal Soon welcomes him, making everyone watch her like a weirdo. Mal Soon covers up her slip by rushing to the bathroom, and from there, she spies on the family, seeing how Yun Chol refuses to eat because of his current emotional state. The next day, Mr. Park watches Mal Soon closely to confirm her umbrella is the same he saw on the security cameras. After she leaves for the day, he enters her room and rummages through her things, finding Mal Soon's dentures and old shoes. Meanwhile, Sung Woo continues to turn down people at auditions until Mal Soon and her band show up. He wastes no time and offers them a deal, which the band, of course, accepts. When Mal Soon returns home, she finds the bag with her dentures hanging on the clothesline. Mr. Park sneaks behind her and tries to knock her out, but Mal Soon quickly overpowers him and ties him up instead. That doesn't stop him from calling her out, revealing he thinks she's killed Mal Soon and asking her to kill him too because he can't live without her. When he was 13, he lost his parents and Mal Soon's family took him in, and Mal Soon's smile would always help him stay strong. Hearing this, Mal Soon takes pity on him and smiles at him, asking him why he doesn't recognize her. After watching her for a moment, Mr. Park finally realizes the woman in front of him is Mal Soon herself. The following day, the two of them spend some time together at the cafe. Mal Soon tells him about the upcoming concert her band will be at, which means she can finally fulfill her dream of being a famous singer. When Mr. Park makes an unfunny joke, Mal Soon force feeds him some of the shaved ice she's been having, and this act is seen from another table by Okja, who now thinks Mr. Park is dating a woman much younger than him. Afterward, Mal Soon asks him for a favor so her family won't worry about her anymore, so Mr. Park invites Yun Chol and Aja to his home and tells them he's seen Mal Soon and that she's fine. Mr. Park explains that she's living the life she's always wanted and that she needs her debit card to be working again. Meanwhile, Na Young is at the community center, where Okja is telling her about her father dating a woman too young for him and how she's probably after his property. Nayoung doesn't want to believe it at first, but when she returns home and sees her father exercising to feel young again, she thinks Okja may be onto something. The next morning, Mr. Park picks up Mal Soon at the bus stop, trying to look cool while handing her a flower. Some teenagers nearby laugh at how ridiculous he looks, and Mal Soon calls him out for it as well, but she accepts the ride anyway. Moments later, they arrive at the TV studio where the band will be making their debut on screen. Mal Soon sings from the heart as she remembers her husband, falling in love with him and losing him, and the trouble she went through to raise her son alone. By the time the song ends, she's crying, but the public has loved every second of it. A couple of days later, 
The band goes to a water park with Mr. Park, Sung Woo, and Su Yeon. When they get in the special pool, a giant wave makes Maul Soon and Mr. Park slip and almost drown. Mr. Park ends up passed out on the shore somewhere, and Maul Soon is saved by Sung Woo, who takes her to a nearby table so she can rest. He tries to get to know her better, but Maul Soon avoids the question, saying she'll reveal more about herself in the future as she finds herself attracted to Sung Woo. Their light chat is interrupted when Sung Woo notices Maul Soon's foot is hurt, and Maul Soon freaks out a little when she notices that the area around the bleeding cut is getting wrinkly. Claiming she'll go to the hospital, she rushes out of the park, and later at home, Mr. Park does a test, he pokes her foot with a pin and then that area also gets wrinkly around the wound. At that moment, Nayoung enters the room and finds them in what she considers a compromising position. Not being able to take it anymore, she grabs Maul Soon and throws her in the backyard, telling her to get out. Mr. Park defends Maul Soon and ends up arguing with his daughter, making her cry, so Maul Soon decides to leave not to cause any more trouble. Mr. Park wants to go after her, but Nayoung grabs him and doesn't let him go. The next day, Mr. Park is so worried about not hearing from Maul Soon that he goes to see Yoon Chol and tells him the truth. However, Yoon Chol doesn't believe him and thinks he's suffering from dementia or depression, so he tries to call a doctor. Mr. Park gives up and returns home, where he stays all day in his room, lamenting having lost Maul Soon. Speaking of Maul Soon, after receiving a call from Sung Woo, she ends up staying at his apartment. They share dinner and a nice long chat where Sung Woo keeps trying to flirt with her, but Maul Soon can't allow herself to give in to a man so much younger than her, so she keeps pouring alcohol until he drinks himself to sleep. Back in the family home, Aja is taking antidepressants again, and she can't help thinking of Maul Soon scolding her for it. The next day, the band is recording their first single, but another producer makes Sung Woo realize that this kind of slow song doesn't fit the band's image and he has to find them a composer. This angers Ji Ha, who wrote that song in the first place, and he rushes out of the building. Maul Soon tries to stop him, trying to make him understand that Sung Woo only wants the best for the band. Jealous Ji Ha accuses her of sleeping with Sung Woo because he heard she spent the night at his place. Maul Soon starts slapping him for it, but then she takes him out for lunch to turn him down properly. Sometime later, Maul Soon meets with Mr. Park at the park. He's worried because he doesn't receive updates from her anymore, and he can also guess she likes someone else now. He's green with envy but accepts it because he wants Maul Soon to be happy. After gifting him another bag of peaches, Maul Soon asks him to take good care of Okja, so Mr. Park has to inform her that actually, Okja fainted last week from a cerebral hemorrhage and she's now hospitalized. Later at night, Yun Chul checks on Ji Ha, who is composing a new song for the band. He tells his son the song is very good and wishes him good luck, but before leaving, he can't help noticing a picture of the band. He then goes to search for some old pictures of him as a baby and realizes how similar the woman from the band and his own mother look. Some days later, Maul Soon has a date with Sung Woo at the park, and when he confesses his feelings, she tells him she can't accept them because the age difference between them is too big. Sung Woo thinks she means he's too old for her. When they're done, he drops her at the hospital, gifting her a hair clip and kissing her forehead before leaving. Maul Soon enters the building, intending to visit Okja, but it's too late, she's already dead. She's so upset by this news that she leaves without noticing Mr. Park is there as well. The day of the big show finally comes and Ji Ha is running late because he is stuck in traffic. Seeing as the cab won't be moving anytime soon, he gets out and grabs a public bicycle, which he begins riding like a madman through the streets. This recklessness has its consequences, Ji Ha is suddenly hit by a truck and taken to the hospital. When the news reached the band, Sung Woo wants to cancel their performance, but Maul Soon refuses, she thinks the right thing to do is make the world hear Ji Ha's song and sing it so loud he'll feel better. The band accepts to perform and the song is received well, making it a big success. As soon as they're done, Maul Soon rushes to the hospital and arrives just in time. It turns out Ji Ha's blood type is AB, which nobody in the family has except her, so she offers herself up for a transfusion. This worries Mr. Park and he drags her out to have a private talk with her, reminding her this is going to make her old again and she'll lose the chance to live her dream. Her grandson's life is more important though, and as she goes back to the main hallway to find the doctors, she finds Yun Chul instead, who has been listening to their conversation. He confesses he knows who she is and asks her to leave because she already sacrificed her dreams for his sake, so it wouldn't be fair for her to do it again for her grandson. Once again, she refuses, saying it's okay to be old if she gets to be with her family. The two of them cry and hug before Maul Soon is taken to the operating room, where she's connected to Jiha to transfer the blood as she slowly transforms back into her elderly body. A year later, the band continues to be a success with a healthy Jiha and Hana as the new vocalist. Their parents and Maul Soon go to all their concerts to support them, and Aja and Maul Soon are getting along better now. After the concert is over, Maul Soon sees Sung Woo from afar and decides not to approach him, but as she leaves, he is surprised to see the same hairpin he had gifted her in the hair of an old lady. Meanwhile, Mr. Park finds the photo studio, which this time has a picture of James Dean in the window. After getting his picture taken, he goes to the bus stop to pick up Maul Soon, revealing his new handsome young face when he takes off his helmet. 
The teenagers that made fun of him last time now look at him in awe, but he only has eyes for Malsoon, who gets on the bike with him and scolds him for never telling her he was allergic to peaches. Make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications so you can watch more videos like this. Thanks for watching.